After signing Ty Haverson from Chelsea, Declan Rice from West Ham, almost 200 million. Now it's time for Jaren Timber. Arsenal is hungry for trophies. But on this video, I am going to tell you guys how good is Timber. But I've got a question for you guys. Is this another good signing for the Gunners? He may be a player that most of you, special Arsenal fans, haven't seen much about. It. But on this video, I will tell you how good is Timber. And of course, according to Fabrizio Romano, he's a Gunner already. And as you can see in here, this was just before I start recording this video, Fabrizio Romano tweet this right timber has just basically complete his medical and test as a new arsenal player 22 years old place for ajax will be a gunner like i said center back who can play as a right back and as a dm right if you have never watched this kid play, I'm telling you right now, from the signings that Arsenal already, um, for the signings that Arsenal already got this summer, I, I mentioned Declan Rice, Hedicklish Price, Kai Haverson as well, Hedicklish Price, never worth the money that Arsenal paid for him. Timba will cost Arsenal, according to Fabrizio Romano, probably about 40 to 45, maybe adds on about 50 million, right? Out of the three, Timba, Kai Haverson and Declan Rice, this is the best signing. But that's me, that's my thoughts, right? And obviously, I want to hear from you guys if you guys think this is another good signing for the Gunners. They're going strong. Like I said, they are hungry for trophies. I do get they haven't won the Premier League since we all know how many years they haven't won the Premier League. Almost 20 years since they last won the Premier League. They're hungry. They want you know they wanted to they want to conquer England again. If you guys been following me you guys know that I'm not a massive fan of this club due to them the losing fans plastic fans but i'm telling you right now they they, they keep spending money but they spend and Declan Rice is a good player i think kai haverson is not a bad player but it's not worth the money but when you see because i know who's team but i've i've seen this kid play plenty of times and I'm, i will tell you how good is he is timber in a minute, but going back with what Arsenal is spending in a minute, obviously they're hungry for the Premier League trophy. You guys know that I always call on, on my videos, on my social media, I always call Arsenal a small club because they do have a small club, a small, uh, a small club mentality, the way they always bottle, right? But I'm going to be honest with you as well. They're definitely up there, one of the biggest clubs in English football. In domestic Football in England, yes, they are one of the bigs, but when it comes more wise, they are too small. But the money they're spending, see what they already spend in three players over 200 million, and they're not going to stop from in here. I guarantee you, they're not going to stop um, from in here. But the question is, I want you guys to let me know in the chat if you know about Timbo, if you watch him play, let me know if this is another good signing for Gunnar, right? Like I said, Eklund Rice was a good signing. Pat Haverson was a good signing. I do understand why Arsenal tried so hard for Declan Rice, even Kai Haverson. But out of three, for me, this is the best signing that Arsenal made. And from now, I'm going to tell you right now why. He can not only just play as a centre-back. And when you see Gabriel Saliba, who at the end got injured, Arsenal really missed Saliba so much last season. But I blame Arteta for that. Uh, going uh, hard in Europa League. You know, we leave that for another video or whatever. But 
he can play as a centre back, he can play as a right back. You saw like Ben White as a right back. Yeah, he did well first half of the season, but then you knew that it got to the stage where he's not a right back, his natural position not a right back, and you knew that Arsenal once a little got injured, they struggle. Gabriel, I would say Gabriel had an okay season. I would say good season overall. He did well. He's not a bad defender. But when you look at the quality of Timber, of course, we know how good is Saliba. I've said this plenty of times. But out of the three centre-backs, Timber is the, is the best one on the ball. And the style of football, obviously, Arteta is implementing Arsenal. The style of football they played last season, the style of football that Arteta wants Arsenal to play, he is just a perfect striker, right? And I strongly believe he will be most of the games playing as a right-back. But as a centre back, this kid is a monster, right? He plays with both feet as well. He's so good with his right foot, he's so good with his left foot, and he's not scared to go. He's not scared to tackle. His work right is unbelievable, but he's so good on the on the ball. Out of the three, he's the best one on the ball. Saliba is very with his age, very young still, very chill on the ball, very uh, he's just He's so mature. Salib is so mature already that he's amazing. Amazing. And he had a very good season with Arsenal. But when you watch Timber, on the ball, is the best out three. Probably the strongest one, I would probably say Saliba. Maybe Gabriel at times can look, you know, scary and a strong defender. But there's ways to be scary and strong. You need to know how to use how to use how to use your body and Saliba knows how to do that very well. But Timber obviously is a big jump from Ajax. Ajax is one of history is one of the greatest club of all time. But you cannot compare coming from Netherlands, playing in Holland League, coming into Premier League. It's gonna be a big jump for him. If he's mental prepared, if he can handle the pressure, I'm sure he will be doing well because there's a lot, a lot quality quality on this kid. He's only 22, Dutch player, and I think Arsenal has a very, very, and you don't usually hear this from me when it comes to Arsenal, but in here, it doesn't matter. If I like Arsenal or not, if I like Arsenal fans or not, that is, that I live down on the side, we're talking about a player that they just signed, and he is good. He is good, young, he's quick, he, he's quick, he's strong, he can't play in different positions, that's something Arsenal needed last season, and um, due to the injury they had for the season, the season is long, and we knew that Arsenal was going to bottle again, because the squad wasn't good enough, and I've said this since the start, right? Even when they was top for how many days? Over 200 days. Uh, everyone thought they was going to win the Premier League. I was saying every week, their squad is just not good. They cannot just go and compete in the Europa League. They think they're going to win the Europa League and they're going to win the, um, the Premier League. With that, against that Man City squad, we knew the final result was what we saw. But yeah, look, before I end this video, let me say this again. Jorin Timber, remember the name. What a player. And the money that in today's football market, the money that Arsenal's paying for it, very good price. And Arsenal will not regret. And you mark my words as always. And um, I just I just want to say a big thank you once again for all the love and support. And actually, Canon thanks you guys enough. And I will see you on the next video. Plenty of videos coming up. The summer transfer has only just started. I know it's been a few weeks now, but I there's a lot still to happen. Big things gonna happen. And as always, information in here mostly is from the greatest of all time, Fabrice Romana. God bless you all, and I will see you on the next video.